welcome back to my channel so today's video is super exciting I've been planning to film this video for like I mean since July when I started buying Christmas presents for my kids I've just been so excited <laughs> these are probably one of my very favorite videos to watch I just get excited just because I love getting ideas for kiddo for my kiddos and just it just gets me excited I don't know I there's something about being a parent and like or just having a younger kid in your life and be able to spoil them and I'm just it just gets me pumped so today's video is what I got my kids for Christmas now first and foremost everybody's budget's different everybody kids are different sometimes you want to buy them toys sometimes you want to buy them more educational things every Christmas is different um, so just keep that in mind. Now, I know some people are going to be like, you bought way too much. And I did. I will fully agree to the fact that I bought way too many things. But I was just so excited. And this is a very big Christmas this year. I have two kids. And I was just really eager. So, eh. But I will say that I did excellent with budgeting. I bought things, like, back in July. I've just been buying slowly over the course of, like, six months. Which, for me, to be honest, is the best option. I think that I that's what works the best for me and for our budget. So, yeah. Um, I also have two little girls. One just turned three, and the other one is nine months. So, these are just kind of just all over with present ideas and stuff like that. So, let's just get started, shall we? I'm just going to grab and go. I'm just going to grab and go. So, the first thing I got is... Um, I always get books. Now this is the first year that I'm getting my littlest books as well and unfortunately hers hasn't come in the mail yet. Some things are missing because I haven't arrived but I didn't want to wait any longer just in case you guys wanted ideas. So um, I will insert pictures of the things that haven't come yet. But I always get books. I think it's important. Um, my oldest loves reading and I think it's just because I started her at an early age and I got her hyped up for it. So um, I already have a couple books wrapped under the tree because I started wrapping presents and totally forgot I needed to film. So there are some books under the tree but she does have a couple more around here. And this is Eloise at Christmas time. I probably will have her get this before Christmas just because I want her to enjoy it for Christmas. But I also have Eloise at the Plaza already wrapped and a couple Olivia board books. Um, she loves books, she loves reading, and Eloise is one of my favorite stories and my favorite movies, especially Eloise at Christmas time, so I can't wait. I hope she enjoys this as much as I did. <sighs> the next thing is for my youngest. Now, I got her a lot of toys, and I think that's a big part because my oldest, Olive, didn't have a lot of baby toys when we were... When she was first born, we spent so much time at our parents' place and they have so many toys. We didn't spend a whole lot at our own apartment. We were always out or she was over with my parents and I was over there too. And so I just never bought a whole lot of toys. And the toys we did have, I guess I must have donated. So um, I decided to buy her a good chunk of toys because she's super into toys. And we spend a lot of time at home now. We're in big homebodies and I want her to have stuff to play with that isn't her sister's because her sister's stuff is a little too old for her and I'm worried about choking hazards so I want her to have a plethora of toys that she's interested in that she knows that are hers that probably won't stop her going after her sister's stuff but oh well. So the first thing I got was this Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Light Up Learning Speaker. It's just a little, I don't know, speaker boombox thing. I got this for super cheap. I think it was five dollars. Most everything I got on sale, I think there's like a couple things we paid full price for, but for the most part, I try always to get stuff on sale. So I got this back in like September, August, something ridiculous. So um, for whatever reason, it doesn't work. I ordered this in on the online through Walmart. So I'm hoping that it's just like I need to pull the tag to get it to work or something, but. Hopefully. Anyway, but she's super into our cell phone, so I think it'll be nice. She plays, it sings, there's ABCs, numbers, shapes, music, so, you know, something cute, lights up, she'll love it. The next thing is for my oldest. My oldest is super, super into Peppa Pig, so um, I got her a toothbrush. Now, I want that something to be something she gets every Christmas, obviously throughout the year as well, too, you know, every six months, I think, is how you're supposed to, or every three months. How often are you supposed to replace your toothbrush? I want to say it's every six months, but I'm feeling that sounds gross now. Whatever, she's getting a new one. 
um, and it's Peppa Pig and this one's super cute it comes with like a little rinse cup and a little Peppa Pig little figure and there's like a little toothbrush back there they have them all different styles this is from Walmart it was only four dollars so super cute next things these are kind of stocking stuffers this is for my youngest this is the baby banana if you have a baby or know someone who's having a baby and you don't know what to get this is great every kid I've ever seen get one of these including my two have loved them they now come in different colors and they do different like fruits and vegetables but this one's just pink my youngest already has one over at my parents house and she loves it so I got one for here super cute inexpensive I think this was like three dollars I'm out of breath because I'm like talking fast. I'm like scared my kids are supposed to be napping. They're not. So I'm scared they're gonna like come out. I'm like, oh no. Anyway, this is for a stocking stuffer for my youngest. It's lip balm. It's lip gloss. It's the baby lips. It's crystal. It's the baby lips crystal and pink quartz. She's obsessed with makeup like me. I think it's just because she watches me do it. She knows how much I love it. So I got her very own one just so when I'm doing my makeup and she asks for lipstick, she has her own. I know. Someone judge me for that. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to go. Okay, so next is this Infantino Jumbo Shape Sorter. I always love to get kid shape short shape shorters shape sorters. Um, I looked through a lot of different ones. This one was super cheap, and it's really nice. It's nice and big. You move the ears after you put the shapes in to get them out. You press down the ears, and they come out the trunk. I just think that's so cute. Um, I loved all the different colors. I love this really good Walmart once again most everything came from Walmart because they just have such good deals next for my oldest we have this book called pretty princess it's a little vanity table book this is super cute I ordered this is off of Amazon I think though and it only had one more in stock and it totally came missing pieces so that's a little bit disappointing but it's super cute basically it's you read the story along and it tells you what you know you're gonna wear and whatever pick out your favorite dress to wear to the party and then colorful lip gloss will make your lips shine so then you take off the little cardboard piece of lip gloss and pretend to put it on in the mirror which i think is super cute but it's missing one of the pieces i think this is supposed to be like a makeup brush so that's a little disappointing but it was super inexpensive i decided just to keep it she has plenty of fake little makeup brushes but i liked this wanted to add this to it next she has some of these Pom Pom hair ties. These are also from Walmart. I think these were two dollars. There's six of them. They're each just different colors. They go with every outfit. She's girl, girly, 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 and she loves these. She loves Pom Pom, so I think she'll love them for hair. Issue with shopping ahead of time is you get great deals, but you really have to tally on what stuff you've already bought because this is all around me and it's crazy. Anyway, so the next thing I got was this Melissa and Doug Deluxe Pounding Bench. This is for Eleanor. These are so cute. I've always loved these little things. Um, this one was my favorite by far. I love Melissa and Doug. I love their wooden toys. And all the little faces on all the cute little, little heads. Um, and the reason I also like these is because there's this kind of plastic ribbing it kind of looks like. And you can't push them all the way through so you lose the pieces. You just push them down and then they'll pop back up. Kind of like whack-a-mole I think so really adorable once again inexpensive loved it another thing I got for Eleanor is this Fisher Price chatter telephone I feel like everybody had this when they were a kid it's so cute for good reason it's good I love that it develops imaginary play works on um, you know gross motor skills with like ringing around the little keys they can drag it around they say hello I just think it's really really cute a lot of these toys are for like 12 months or older and the reason that I got that is I feel like if I bought tons of toys that are for her age right now she'll just grow out of them really fast so I try to get things that are going to last for a while and things that she'll still be interested in and I'm sure even Ollie will be interested in this so Ollie's big thing this year is Barbies I try really hard to do a theme present um last year she had like the little magic clips little Disney princess things with a tiny little Elsa castle that was like her thing. The year before she got a kid craft kitchen with food and stuff like that. I want, I like to do themed presents because I feel like they get more use out of them. And because I just, I like the idea of just giving a whole 
you know, if I'm gonna get one thing, I might as well get the things to go along with it kind of thing to make it like a full toy. And I feel like they play longer with it too. Um, so this year, her theme was Barbies. She got really, really into Barbies, which is funny because it's the exact same age I got into Barbies, it was around two to three. And for my, like when I was three and I had my Christmas, I that was like all I got and I was like obsessed. So she's so similar to me and it just makes me so excited because I loved Barbies. They were like my escape. And I know that sounds weird being a kid, but loved them. So, so excited to give her a little Barbie treasure trove. So anyway, like I said, most of these things I got on mega, mega clearance. And some of these things are back to full price. And so I don't know why they were like marked down so low. I got some things at Target, some things at Walmart. So just keep in mind if you have a little girl that likes Barbies and you're thinking about next year, go during the summertime when everything's marked down before they bring out the new fall toys, like during July and June, and then you get yourself some toys. Because some of these things were originally like $15 and I got them for like five. So this is the Barbie Chelsea, Chelsea and Tricycle. She's super into Chelsea and Skipper and Stacy and Barbie and I don't remember when they used to be like Kelly's and not Chelsea, but whatever. So super cute. Like this a lot for her. Um, the next thing, all my kids um, and for my whole entire life, my parents always bought, or my mom I should say, because my mom always picked out the presents, got us pajamas. It's just something they did. And so I like to keep a certain traditions. So Ollie's are these. This is the just like Disney princess it's a Christmas themed one, but I just thought it was so pretty and I know she's gonna love this. So it has like this little like ho-ho Santa trim. Pretty red, like a velvet top. I really liked this. Um, this was a little bit pricier than I wanted to spend. I think it was, yeah, it was $19.99 and I, I was, I did get it for like 14, but it was still kind of pricey, but I got it in a size extra small, which I think is four or five, but I feel like these run small anyway, so I think it'll be nice because then she can have like a little bit longer with them because it was pricey, so this was hers. Eleanor's hasn't come in yet, otherwise I would show you, but those hers are just cute little top and bottom separates and they just have unicorns on them. Not super, not super, super cute, but cute. Baby cute, you know? All right, <laughs> next thing for Eleanor is I got her these Infantino textured balls. She loves putting anything in her mouth, as do most babies. So I like these a lot because they just had a bunch of different textures, little nubs. It'll be great for her TV, it'll be great for sensory play. Um, they were like $3. So, all right, motorcycle. Just join my video. Um, the next thing I got was this Fisher Price Bright Beats Build a Beat Stacker. I really liked these. I thought this was really smart because it teaches more about music. I don't know if they sing like ABCs or anything like that. I think it's literally just different beats. And the different variations you put on, how many you put on, too, changes up the beat in the song. So you create a, like a, a song and music, which I thought was really cool. So it's a stacker, stacking toy, but it's also making music through it. So I really like that. So it starts with like a basic beat. And then the more you add on to it, it like changes it. So really cute. Like this a lot once again. I think I paid $13 for this. These are all guesstimates. I really have no idea how much I paid for most of these things. <laughs> all right. Ollie got the Barbie glam pool. Every kid needs a pool. Um, I know she's gonna love this. She goes and plays with it at her friend's house. She's wanted it for a long time. This is back to full price. I got this for $4 on clearance at Walmart and they have the exact same pool back for like $14, $15. So this is like June and July, I got it for four bucks. All right, Eleanor's absolutely obsessed with blankets. They're her favorite things. It's like milk, her little bottles of milk and blankets. She'd be set. Like I don't even have to buy her toys. She just would love blankets. So I got her a new one. Um, she has tons of them, but she just they get dirty so fast and constantly washing them. So I just got her new one to add to her collection. <laughs> this is Lovable Friends. It's a plush blanket. It's just super soft. It has like the shape or the like print is just a big deer on it. Thought it was cute. This was inexpensive as well. I got it at Walmart. Soft. She loves just to rip it on her little nose. It's so cute. So I know this will probably her be her most treasured item, but. I definitely wanted to get her a new blanket. Okay, so we got a bunch of Barbies to add. She has a bunch, not a bunch, she has a couple of Barbies, not a whole lot, so I just added two of the one, um, them. These were, I think, last season's 
Barbie fashionistas and they brought out a new line this year but honestly these are just as cute I mean the new ones are cute too but I mean this is why these ones were on clearance I think I got these for four bucks each this is the curvy Barbie she already has one curvy Barbie at my parents house I wanted to add super representative of the curvy Barbies I love this whole entire line because they have tall petite curvy different skin tones different ethnicities I just think it's awesome way to go Barbie so this one is the Daisy Pop and then we have a petite one which I thought was really cute and kind of looked like them a little bit so this is the petite style so sweet and then she has a Ken which now I'm kind of regretting getting this purchase at the time she didn't have any Kens but one of her presents has a Ken in it and then my mom I think also got her a Ken so she's gonna have multiple Kens that's all right multiple love interests so we have these I wish they would bring out like more of like maybe an Indian Barbie this is I guess the closest but they don't have a whole lot of Indian Barbies, so I think that would be awesome. Um, my daughter's half Indian, so I think that would be really cool. Um, maybe like wearing a sari. They have some, but they're like really expensive They're like the collector's editions. But I wish they did like a line of just different cultures and different ethnicities um, and different like tribal outfits. And I just think that would be really awesome. Okay. Whew, I'm like happy to catch my breath. Okay, one of Eleanor's big presents. She has two presents over here that are her big presents. One of them is... Um, Santa lent to us to show you in this video and the other one is from us so this is her Santa present this is the Fisher Price laugh and learn around the town learning table now unfortunately we've kept this out for way too long <laughs> so she's been playing with it on the floor I'm like worried she's gonna be over by the time she actually can play with it but she's already standing already trying to like just walk and just be crazy so she's been standing for almost two months now and pulling herself up and things so I thought this would be a good thing to encourage her with um, it's for 36 months I mean I don't know if it'll last that long as far as her interest but it's cute it also has another one of the telephones that go right here I like that you can like turn I just think it's really cute and helpful I loved it all they have tons of activity tables I just happened to like this one I knew I wanted to get her an activity table this is the one I got her I think I pretty much got her all Fisher Price toys besides that one Melissa and Doug and that one Infantino toy. I just like Fisher Price, I know they have good quality. <clears throat> and the last present, or not maybe not her last present, but um, the one that my husband just got for her today is this Laugh and Learn Song and Story Learning Chair. They had those learning chairs that came out a couple years ago. My daughter had the yellow one that's at my parents' house and they came with a pink one. This one I really like, and I don't know if it's exclusive to Toys R Us because I haven't been able to find it anywhere else. It has like a little side table, so there's a lamp, a little book, some colors, and they sing, and they do ABCs, counting, learning, it's just super cute, so um, I really liked that, and it goes up, you can do like the one, two, three, four, and adjust with their ages, so um, yeah, that's her, her big presents right there. Okay, now I'm trying to finish things up. Um, next for Olive, this is the Barbie Sisters Bunk Bed and Stacy. This is a funny thing. She saw this on one of her YouTube videos or something and has been wanting it for so long. Now, this was something that just was super hard to find. I thought that they just kind of like was getting something different because it went with a different direction. I couldn't find it in stores anymore. Anything, anytime I found it online, it was like 40 and upwards. And so I didn't want to spend this. And then I found it at Tuesday mornings for $14.99. And I was so excited. And I saw I saw recently they brought it back. I saw it at Target the other day um, for like $20 or $30 or something like that. So I was so excited when I found this. And I know she's going to be so excited. She loves like the beds, which is what I love to play with too. And as a kid, I just loved like having the girly room and stuff. So I can't wait for her to open this. This is another thing my husband picked up for her today. I try to encourage him to... Um, also pick out gifts that they would like and I know that it's really easy for like the mom to kind of like take over and be like I'm gonna get all these things because dads are busy too and stuff and I feel like as moms get super excited for things like that so um, I want to also like include him and make him feel like a part of it rather than be like oh you got that for her and that for her you know I think it's more fun too if he buys gifts as well so he got a little table and chair set for Eleanor and then he got this for Ollie which is the Barbie Beach Cruiser. So it comes with a Barbie and a Ken, which I think is the exact same Ken I have. Um, but she really wanted a Barbie car. 
and I just thought these were gonna be this was cute they had the Corvette but it was always sold out every time I tried to go get it um, and this one was pretty pricey it was like three four dollars but it came with two Barbies so yeah, I'm not sure of that as well I love the sound I don't know if you were a kid and you'd like have like toys like this and you have the like you knew that there was like something good in there when you had like the plastic make the ripple sound I love that <laughs> that gets me excited so for ollie's big santa gift that he's still making at the north pole um she's getting a barbie dream house well that's what she asked for that was her number one thing that she wanted and i knew actually last year that's what i wanted to get her um so i've been planning for it about it this whole entire year and she's actually the one who also just came up with one minute too i didn't influence her in any way so i knew that this was gonna be an extra special christmas and um i looked into so many barbie houses i just wasn't really impressed with the actual barbie brands houses they were plastic and i the hello dream house got terrible ratings and the actual barbie dream house i just didn't love the look of it i didn't feel like it was very dollhouse-esque and it was plastic and i was worried it was going to break so we settled on a kidcraft house now kidcraft comes out with a billion different types of barbie houses or doll houses so if you're looking for a doll house definitely check them out because they range from all over on the price board to giant smaller and conservative they have like american dolls like size barbie houses which i can't imagine how big that is but or not barbie houses but american doll sized doll houses and stuff so crazy if you haven't <laughs> found a dollhouse yet definitely check out kidcraft so i will insert the picture of the one that we ended up deciding on and it's giant it's huge it's gonna be way too big but the reason that i got a bigger one is i figured that one it can grow with her because i had my barbie house for years and then um i wanted it to be big enough so when her sister gets older she can play alongside her and it won't they won't be crowding and like punching each other because there wasn't enough room so yes that's the house we got the only things that haven't come in the mail for them right now um ollie requested the barbie dream houses which you don't see in the barbie dream house she wanted little elsia and little anya it's like a little the little miniature elsa and anna dolls that she watches like a video and they call them elsie and anya so i found a set of those and then the new um from like olaf's holiday or the new elsa and anna frozen short um those dolls the theme and their outfits that they're wearing we got those off of the disney store so those are still coming in the mail i'll insert two pictures but unfortunately they did not arrive in time for this video so that is the big present she's getting i know i went overboard and i know it's crazy i just i didn't realize i, I didn't realize i didn't realize so oh well i'll quickly show you their stocking stuffers um and then we'll be done before Stocking stuffers for the girls. Obviously, Eleanor is still tiny, so she doesn't need a whole lot. And that's another reason why Ollie seemed like she got a lot more gifts. It's just because Eleanor's a baby. She doesn't know what the day of the week it is. And I didn't want to buy her just a bunch of toys just to have toys. I feel like I bought her a bunch of different types of toys and things that'll be fun for her and a, a lot of toys, but not like as many as Olive. And I think that's okay. Um, for her stocking stuffer, I got her some little crunchies puffs. She loves puffs. They're her life. So I got her these, which are the ranch little version. And then I got her the graduates fruit and veggie melts, which she also loves. Olive, I got her some ring pops. She doesn't get candy very often, but when she does, it's for a treat. So I know, and I know she loves suckers. So I got her some ring pops. Um, Ollie has these Hatchimals, the two-pack nest luckily she hasn't asked for an actual hatchimals yet but she does love the little hatchimal tiny ones she got her first back um a little bit ago she was obsessed so i like these for like surprise bags so much better than the other ones i feel like you actually have to work for these i think they're really cool so i didn't mind get her these i got her she's obsessed with anything girly like i said before and she loves to like look at all my perfume and stuff and so i found this which is like a pretty little perfume bottle and it's actually peppa pig cotton candy body wash i was so excited i got this at target for like two dollars really excited for that um i also got these scented bath bombs i think she loves taking baths and i think it'll be so fun to have like bath bombs and then the mini mouse ones but also like little christmas cracker you put anything in like a christmas cracker and i'm gonna buy it i wish they had more here in the states i know it's more of like a uk thing but so cute i found most of these things also in the um target stocking stuffer section if you're wondering 
and this i found at walmart i thought this was so cool this is the play-doh bath soap and they're just like little tubs different colors of like play-doh soap and they're like moldable it feels just like play-doh i took one out to see it feels just like play-doh it smells really good and they're moldable and it's soap so i thought that was really cool i don't know how long each one will last i'm hoping like it's reusable i don't i don't i don't know if that's gross or not but i mean use reuse bar soap so i guess it's not that gross but i think she'll be super excited for this so she loves playing in the bath i think this will be awesome okay we're almost done almost done. I keep having to make sure I'm going through all the bags. Alright, we're on our last bag. So, I got the Paw Patrol Curly Candy Canes. Olive is obsessed with Paw Patrol. She already has a bunch of Paw Patrol toys though, and I know I wanted to geared more towards Barbie this year, but I know she'll be excited to at least have some pool, some pool, some Paw Patrol, something. Um, I've had this thing for like a year. This was in the dollar section at Target. She was obsessed with fidget spinners. It was like when they were really cool. And um, so I got her this. I don't even know why. I just, she, I was like, this will be cool for the stocking. And now I have like way too much stuff for her stocking. But I know she'll still be excited about this. So, hot big fidget spinner. Um, to add on to her Barbie things. This is the Barbie like little bakery mix and stuff set that she can use in the kitchen. And these, oh, these were on clearance too. So these, this was $1.48. And it's just this really pretty, like, date night dress. And then there's another one. This is, like, more springtime. <laughs> and it's $1.48 as well. And, oh, there's one more. And this is more of, like, a geometric one. And um, this was $1.48 as well. Once again, everything during summertime. So um, another tradition I have started is underwear i have given my husband underwear every year but all of us officially potty trained this christmas she wasn't last christmas so she now has her first set under the tree so i just got her three she has tons of underwear so she didn't need a whole lot but they go out so fast little kids underwear are not good quality so at least the character ones you buy at the store so i just got her a set of hello kitty because she's super into them right now and then last are we at the end are we at the end i think we are we're at the end I keep checking behind me because I'm nervous. All right, the last thing is um, this for Eleanor. This is the Newbie Toddler Training Snack Cup. These snack cups are so great. I mean, I'm sure if you've had a kid or you do, are getting to that point, these snack cups are great. Um, I always get the Newbie ones. They normally were just like fun colors, but now they actually have like a cute design. So this one is um, like a little flower and she'll be so into this because she, like I said, she loves snacks. So this will be, I feel like keeping her entertained for a while. She try to like learn how to get her hand in and out. Once again, it's for 12 months, but I think this will be good for her now actually. So. It's the flower child one. And I also had a matching flower child cup, but I decided to get this one. <laughs> this is the monster grip and sip cup. Um, he has little hands, little monster hands, and she's starting to get into sippy cups. She's super attached to the bottle. It's gonna be hard to break her of that, but um, I thought this was cute. This will be good just to kind of get her into having sippy cups, so. And I'm sure she'll like to nub on the hand. I can't think of that. So. All right, that is officially, officially it. Um, like I said, I'll insert pictures of some of the things that haven't come in yet. I think there's like one or two things of Eleanor's too, but I don't know guys, I'm kind of just done. I'm ready to get these wrapped in under the tree and stop taking up so much space in my closet because this was ridiculous, so. I still have my husband's giraffe as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first video that you've stumbled upon. My name is Sarah, and I hope that this video has made you interested to subscribe to this channel. And um, if you're a little subs fellow subscriber, I'm so glad you guys decided to come back and check out this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful and happy Merry Christmas and happy holidays with whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope that it's magical and joyful and it's a really great year for you this year. So I will see you guys all very soon. Bye guys.